All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Community Focus here on Channel 6 TV. Glad you could be with us this evening. We're going to do the best we can to entertain, inform, and just pass on any kind of news that you might want to know about. I'm Kenny Fogel, and glad you could be with us. Got with me today Vivian Fleener. Vivian, you and I go back a long ways on a lot mm -hmm. of different projects. A lot of projects. But the project today is Kentucky Boys State. I know that's, that's what you, you've been working on for a while. And first of all, tell us a little bit about what, what is Kentucky Boys State. Okay, well, Kentucky Boys State is actually part of a nationwide program to um, teach junior boys about local, state, and federal government and um, to provide instruction and help with leadership mm -hmm. and um, to teach them about their rights as U U.S. citizens. Um, the program, as I said, is nationwide. Mm -hmm. In Kentucky, it was established 75 years ago in 1940 by the American Legion of Kentucky as a separate nonprofit that would provide these, this type of, of instruction for mm -hmm. um, young, young men. Uh, it's open to juniors that are completing their junior year and okay. are going into their senior year. Uh, it's open to public schools, parochial schools, um, homeschoolers. Uh, and they get the opportunity to work with a lot of different officials from around the state. Um, we have the state police who come in and talk to them about the um, justice system. We have a judge that will come in and talk to them about the court system. Mm -hmm. We have uh, local and state officials that will come in and talk to them about the different governments, um, whether it's county government, it's city government, whether it's state government. Okay, so it's an academic setting in more in many ways. It is. It okay. Is. Okay. I guess I was just thinking something like going to a camp, and when I, when I was thinking of camping, I was thinking camping out. But this is more of a, a civics class, more so than anything. Yes, it is. It is, and it, it's very structured. Um, mm -hmm. The kids will get to the conference sometime on Sunday, mm -hmm. and that's when they'll meet everybody for the first time. Mm -hmm. We have about 30 volunteers that are there. That Some of them provide instruction. Some of them are there to provide um, guidance, uh, help with leadership issues, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. I think the most fun thing about it is that when they get there, they're assigned to a political party, mm -hmm. either the nationalists or the federalists. <laughs> And um, they form their own governments. Right. They go through a, an electioneering process, mm -hmm. and they um, get to vote. They get to campaign, and um, they form their own governments. And, and um, that kind of governs the whole week. Now, this yeah. year, I'm really excited because we are going to spend a day in Frankfurt with our legislators. Mm -hmm. and. Um, they'll also have opportunities for some recreation. Um, they have bas time to play basketball or, yeah. or run or, or um, do that sort of thing, but a lot of it is just very structured. There's mm -hmm. a lot of class time, and, and they also have a lot of opportunity for them to get together in their different um, government roles and, and uh, like I said, campaign. Well, how do you? I, I know there's a recruiting. Got to be a recruiting way you all do. Do you all choose people to go, or do they choose you? How do you decide? How do you find these people to have these young men to go? Well, what we do is is we send out information about the conference to mm -hmm. every single school, every single high school in Kentucky. And in a lot of cases, American Legion people will actually go to young mm -hmm. people that they know and will recruit them. Okay. There's an application that they have to fill out. They also have to have some letters of recommendation. And um, they send them all in, and, and um, we try to accommodate everybody that wants to attend, unless right. there's obviously difficulties right. um, with the information they've sent in. But um, we're expecting, last year we had a 15-year high. We had 89 students that were accepted. Um, this year we're anticipating about 100. Mm -hmm. Ho Hopefully a little bit more. So these are the young leaders that we're hoping takes over when we are getting a little older, I guess. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, there are a lot of folks in government right now uh -huh. that have been through the program. Um, probably the most notable is Julian Carroll, uh -huh. who was a governor in the, of Kentucky in the 70s. Uh, he was well. a participant. And um, there's a lot of other folks in, in the community that, mm -hmm. that 
um, you probably would recognize their names, um, that have participated in this. There's a lot of advantages okay. to the young men who are going to participate because, um, first of all, if there's anybody that is interested in getting into an academy, mm -hmm. this is a, a definite plus. Oh, really? They get some points for participating in mm -hmm. Boys State. There are also a number of scholarship opportunities. There's yeah. a Samsung scholarship. Um, there's a, another college that is um, providing some substantial money for anybody that's been through our program. And um, there's also some internal scholarships okay. that we'll give. Okay, well this, this academic camp, what we call it, it comes up pretty soon. I mean, are you still, are you still taking applications? Uh, we are, we are. We've still got a, a few slots mm -hmm. that are open. So um, we're encouraging young men that have already been accepted to, if they have a friend that wants to participate, mm -hmm. to have them go ahead and get the application in. Uh, the the um, conference runs from June 7th through the 12th, uh -huh. so it is coming up really, really soon. Yeah. But um, at, while we go through this whole conference process, what happens is a couple of young men are going to really stand out. Yeah. And those folks get sent to Boys Nation, oh. which is a nationwide competition uh -huh. that's held in Indianapolis. And I'm really pleased to say that last year we sent two young men and out of tens of thousands of, of competitors that attended Boys Nation, our two young men placed in the top 10 in the nation. Well, that's fantastic. So that is, is yeah. a really big deal. It opens a lot of doors. Okay, well, if somebody wants to get a hold of you or learn more about this, how do they find you? I mean, if you, if you, if you haven't found them yet, then our parent out there, a parent may be a little interested in little Johnny may have not come home and told them all about it and they may say, hey, this may be good for my kid or grandkid. How do they get a hold of you? Well, they can certainly go to our website. That is www.kyboysstate.org. That's www.kyboysstate.org. And the application and a lot of information about the, the camp is, is there on our website. Uh, they can also call myself. Um, my number is 502-507-3655. And I'm always available to take calls and give out information. Mm -hmm. um, you can call our director, who is Peter Tursop. Um, don't have his number memorized, but... Um, He's in, in the phone book. Um, mm -hmm. Can contact any of the American legions. Uh, they should be able to provide information. Um, the cost of the camp is two hundred dollars. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. My next question: Is there a fee? Uh, the cost of the camp is two hundred dollars, and typically most of our young men get sponsored either by an American legion or by a local business mm -hmm. uh, or by their own parents. Um, but we do have some scholarship money. I call it scholarship money. Yeah. It's, it's available for those that, that can't find another source. We don't want to keep anybody out because they can't afford it. So if, you're, if somebody out there wants to sponsor, obviously they want to get, you want to, them to get in touch with you too because this is a good way mm -hmm. to invest in our future. We're investing in the uh, leadership that's coming up and, that, and then you can't invest in anything any better than our youth. I mean, that's, that's, that's the number one thing. That's the truth. That's, it's, it's so important. And I, I feel like I should also mention that there is a Kentucky Girls State. I was going to ask you about that, but I don't know if I was going to get in trouble or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a Kentucky Girls State. That is a totally separate nonprofit organization. And that is not headquartered here in Nelson County. That's mm -hmm. headquartered in Louisville. Yeah. But if you go to our website, again, it's www.kentuckyboysstate.org. Um, you can find a tab on there. It's pink. <laughs> and go over to the Girl State website. Oh, good. Well, good. Well, we learned a lot of stuff today. And again, hopefully people uh, are you're interested. You have a good child, grandchild, niece or nephew, somebody interested. Somebody you think that might be a great leader someday. Let's get them off on the right start. Because a lot of times it just takes that. It just takes somebody to just get off on the right start and point it in the right direction to turn them into another Abraham Lincoln or something. You don't know. We might have a great leader out there somewhere mm -hmm. and they just need a little, a little shove. Absolutely. I, I received a, a letter from a young man who was a participant a couple of years ago. And in the letter, he, he said that he w had gotten to Boy State 
because he wanted to do something else and that fell through and so he figured well he he do this and see what it was like. <laughs> and when he got there, he was extremely overweight okay. and he was just, as he characterized himself as a mess. Mm -hmm. And he just really fit in with everybody that was there. He made lifelong friends, he, he found mentors, and here it is two years later. And he has lost all that weight He's down to the right weight for yeah. his his um, height, and he is a communications major in a very good college in the state of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And I could tell that because the letter that he wrote was extremely well written, yeah. and it was just amazing. And he credits his turnaround mm -hmm. to the time that he spent there, the relationships that he made at Kentucky well, Boys fantastic. State, and and the. The mentors that he found there. Well, we love success stories, and there's more of them out there to be told, and it may be one of your stories. So give Vivian a call. Again, check for the one of the American Legions, or uh, look up KentuckyBoysState.org, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll recruit a few more. We, we we need to protect that future. We've already messed up the past. We might as well do something <laughs> about the future. <laughs> oh, I don't know that we've messed up the past. Yeah, we can I do better. <laughs> we can always just keep doing better. So. Exactly. Well, Vivian Fleener here from Kentucky Boys State. We appreciate you being here and, uh, and well, keep us up to date on what's going on. And maybe after you get back, we'll have some more success stories to tell. Well, I'd be happy to do that. And thanks so much for having right, me. We'll take care now. We'll be back in just a few minutes on Community Focus here on Channel 6 TV. We'll be right back.